As Texans continue to heal from the devastation of Hurricane Harvey, millions of Americans around the country are looking for ways to help. Some have already traveled to Houston to do what they can, and others are sending donations, particularly to the American Red Cross. Money is crucial, too, because the Red Cross needs financial support to provide emergency shelter, water, food, supplies, and first aid. While celebrities and political leaders, including President Obama, are asking Americans to donate to the Red Cross, others on social media are warning people not to. And honestly, I'm not surprised. In the past, the American Red Cross has faced heavy criticism for its lack of support during natural disasters like the 2010 earthquake in Haiti. The Red Cross has had half a billion dollars and five years in Haiti, and they have built six homes. After an investigation, it was revealed that the Red Cross also dropped the ball during Hurricanes Sandy and Isaac, lacking basic supplies like food, blankets, and batteries just days after the storms. And in one case, the charity had to throw out tens of thousands of meals just because it couldn't find the people who needed them. The Red Cross also claims a large majority of the donations they receive goes directly to helping the victims of natural disasters. Say someone donates $100, how much of that is going to go to the Harvey victims? Because they're saying, look, I want to help the Harvey victims. I'm so moved. There are some concerns that some of that money goes to Red Cross overhead, Red Cross PR. So how much of that $100 actually goes to the Harvey victims that people want to help? Well, on average, uh, 91 cents of every dollar that we spend goes to our services. But that's a lie. According to the Red Cross's own financial records, the charity spends a portion of donation money on the management and general expenses, which includes things like back office accounting. That means there's a large chunk of donated dollars going to the higher ups. But of course, the organization refuses to acknowledge exactly how much. So if you're thinking of making a donation to the victims of Hurricane Harvey, don't forget to do your research on the charity first and always consider donating to a local organization. I'm Valeria Sistrunk, and for even more tips on how you can help Texas, click the link under this video and visit content.news.